Let's solve the last part of the black hole question from the International Physics Olympiad. We're going to be using these beautiful results that the Hawking temperature of a black hole is given by this expression, Stefan Boltzmann's constant expressed in terms of these fundamental constants, and the area of the event horizon of the black hole given by this. Just look at these equations, they're beautiful. We're going to be considering the black hole not as an isolated system, but as part of the universe and is also receiving part of the cosmic microwave background radiation. Remember, the universe is filled with these photons that are remnant from the Big Bang, and they correspond to a temperature of around 2.7 Kelvin, and they're going to contribute to the mass of the black hole. We need to find the rate of change of the black hole. So in short, the black hole will be emitting some radiation due to Hawking's temperature, but will also be receiving some of the cosmic microwave background. How will this affect the rate of change of its mass? I'm going to start off this problem by considering the rate of change of energy, i.e. dE by dt, and this will be given by the differences in the power, p out, due to Hawking, and then take away the power that has gone in due to the cosmic microwave background radiation. And now let's use E is equal to mc squared for the left-hand side. So what we get is that the time derivative of mc squared will be equal to p out take away p in. But remember, c is just a constant, so we can just take this outside of the derivative sign, so we can divide both factors here by c squared. And now I can apply Stefan Boltzmann's law that the power is given by Stefan's constant multiplied by the temperature raised to the power of 4 multiplied by the surface area. To find the m by dt in terms of all these fundamental constants, this is going to be a lot of algebra, so let's make some space for this. What we get is that the m by dt will be equal to 1 over c squared times the total power that's coming out of the black hole due to Hawking radiation will just be given by Stefan Boltzmann's constant, which is kb raised to the power of 4, divide that by c squared, h to the power of 3, multiplied by the Hawking temperature raised to the power of 4, which is going to give me c raised to the power of 12, multiplied by h raised to the power of 4, divide that by 16 g to the 4th, kb to the 4th, and then the mass to the 4th. We need to multiply this also by the area, which is that expression here, m squared g squared, divide that by c to the power of 4. I'm going to tidy this expression in a second. Let's take away the rest, which is going to be 1 over c squared, times the total power that's uh, gone into the black hole due to the cosmic microwave background. The question gives us that the cosmic temperature of space is just theta, B standing for theta background. So this will be equal to Stefan's constant, which is kB to the power of 4, divide that by another factor of C squared, multiply by H to the power of 3, multiply by the temperature raised to the power of 4, and then times that by the area, which is m squared g squared, divide that by c to the power of 4. This is a long expression, but we can do a lot of cancellations, so what we get is that dm by dt will be equal to, so c squared, c squared is c to the power of 4, times c to the power of 4, c to the power of 8, divided by c to the 12, so all of these are going to disappear, and what we'll, we'll be left with is just c to the power of 4 up here, multiplied by, well, kb, uh, the Boltzmann's constant factor is just going to cancel out, h3 is going to cancel out, just leaving me h here, then I'm going to divide that by m squared and g squared are going to cancel, leaving us 16g squared m squared. 
And then we can take away kb to the power of 4 theta b raised to the power of 4 times m squared g squared. There's not a lot of cancelling going on here. But what we're left with is going to be c to the power of 4 together for this one, c to the power of 4. So that'll be c to the power of 8 multiplied by h cubed. And this right here is an expression for the rate of change of the mass of the black hole in terms of the cosmic microwave background radiation. At some point, the rate of change of the mass of the black hole will reach zero, i.e. the black hole is going to be in thermal equilibrium. Let's figure out that mass. All we need to do is set this derivative here to be equal to zero. And let's rearrange for the mass. So I can just say that c to the power of 4 times h divided by 16g squared now, times by m squared will be given by this expression here. Which <laughs> so let's rearrange for the mass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up here. So what we're going to have is m raised to a power of 4. c to the 8 is going to come up here, which is going to give me c to a power of 12, h to the power of 4. And then we're going to be dividing that by 16. Now g squared is going to come down here, which is going to be g to a power of 4. And then those are the only two factors to remaining, so it'll be Boltzmann's constant raised to the power of 4, and then the cosmic microwave background raised to the power of 4. And now let's take the fourth root of this entire expression to figure out the mass of the black hole at thermal equilibrium. Let's give it a star here to show that it's a special mass, and m star will just be equal to c cubed multiplied by h, divide that by 2g kb multiplied by the temperature of background and this right here is an expression for the mass of the black hole when it's at thermal equilibrium now let me show you something amazing if i was to take this expression for the mass of the black hole and if i was to plug this into the original expression for the temperature of a black hole, we'll be able to find the temperature at thermal equilibrium. So rather than m, I'm just going to write c cubed h. I'm going to bring a factor of 2g kb theta b. And look at that. This cancels, this cancels, this cancels, this goes, this goes, this goes, this goes. What we get is that the temperature of the black hole is equal to the temperature of the background radiation of outer space. I know that you must be wondering where does this equation for the temperature of a black hole actually comes from? Well, have a look at this derivation for Hawking radiation just over here.